Among the various powerful standalone evidences for evolution is embryology. The fundamental unification of developmental biology provides us with excellent forensic indicators of the fact of common descent, and also assists us in explaining various phenomenal developments. So replete is the evidence of evolution within this area of study that the emerging science of Evo Devo, that is the synthesis of developmental biology with the study of evolution, is one of the most dynamic fields of study in biology today. The furthest creationists seem to have gotten in their knowledge of embryology, however, is that in 1874, charismatic German artist and zoologist Ernst Haeckel produced several embryo drawings that exaggerated various similarities in the developmental stages of different classes of vertebrate. It is disappointing enough that the embellishments are purported to nullify the multitude of legitimate embryological evidence compiled before and since, as well as tarnish the name of such a brilliant and eccentric naturalist into just that guy who faked the embryos. But worse than that is that throughout the years, creationists have hijacked and manipulated the story of Heckel's embryos to milk out a number of daughter claims and falsehoods that embellish the facts to such an extent that the calls of fraud have developed ironically into considerable frauds in their own right. Most common and profound among these is that Darwin himself used Heckel's embryos as evidence for his own theory of evolution by natural selection at any point in his life. Heckel admired and was inspired by Darwin's own progressive study in embryology, which was accurate and groundbreaking in its own right. However, Heckel lacked Darwin's unassuming clinical and critical analysis and interpretation of facts, instead opting for a more artistic and poetic approach. Darwin asserted that embryos provided powerful evidence for his theory, but he referenced his own discoveries and that of Karl Ernst von Bayer. Real embryos that Darwin described and documented or else acquired the notes of through open correspondence with other scientists. Darwin's only ever fleeting mentions of Heckel were before his infamous drawings, and referred not to any study in embryology, but instead his pioneering the study of phylogeny. Heckel's embryos were not some buttressed fraud perpetuated by dogmatic Darwinists. They were pointed out as inaccurate long before any creationist called Fowl, and the most conclusive disproof of Heckel was orchestrated by an evolutionary biologist. Heckel took note of the fundamental similarities and ignored the apparent differences, but creationists turn this around and compound the crime by ignoring the unity of fundamental structure and implying the embryos are just too different between classes.